As a community, we've all felt the pain. We've been pressed, but not crushed. We've been without answers, but not driven to despair. We've been struck down, but not destroyed. The need for strengthening and encouragement is real. You can be a light that shines through the darkness. I've learned that drugs, they're very bad and addictive. Um, and they do kill, they uh, killed my dad. In 2004, uh, just all at once, just out of the blue, I didn't know a thing real about it, but I lost my son. My friend, her name's Kathy, and she overdosed on drugs um, about a year ago. It, it got to the point in our county, and we're a small county, that we were losing about one person a week to a drug addiction problem. And by losing, I mean they were dying. Across a 29 county stretch of Kentucky, hill country by and large, poor. Uh, mining country with a lot of uh, uh, people who were prescribing, uh, who, who had prescriptions for pain, legitimately. Uh, but the drugs were being uh, hijacked and sold for, to youngsters and the like. We're a very small town. Uh, opportunities are very limited. Uh, when I first started my job, I found out really fast that uh, we had a huge drug problem here. In one county, for example, that I'm thinking of now, 50% uh, of the youngsters are living with somebody other than their parents. Really, it, we now have a drug culture where, where people in our county, that's all they do. You know, they, that, that they, they eat, drink, sleep, and breathe drugs and drug dealing. Some, some brothers are drinking, some sisters are drinking, some dads and moms are drinking. The number of people that come in seeking narcotics in very creative ways, faking kidney stones, cutting themselves, um, losing their prescriptions, et cetera, et cetera. Probably about 20% of the patients I'll see in a given day, that will be part of the battle. We, we, we know our employees very well, we're friends. and. And when you see them go through the pain, it just really tugs at your heart that uh, uh, they need help. And, uh, and, and this thing, it just continually seems to have gotten worse over the years. We realized that you could not jail your way out of this problem. So that's when we started looking for opportunities. And that was about the same time that UNITE was forming in this area. This battle has been a sort of a lone battle by UNITE uh, fighting the forces here at home. Uh, and when we learned that Focus on the Family was interested in perhaps aligning itself with us, that was uh, encouragement beyond anything you can imagine. I think through the efforts of, of uh, organizations and hopefully businesses and churches and, all, and good people in general, that change to the positive side can be made. I think that the UNITE program it has helped our community and I'm sure that it's helping others. Uh, you have to educate them on how serious the problem is and how devastating the problem can be for their family and this entire community. But you never hear about this on the national level. So somehow an education process needs to take place. You know, hope has to come from uh, something inside of them. That something inside of them, however, has to be planted by us. And, and we have to give them a, um, a vision, uh, an excitement, and uh, a reason to, to have hope and to dream. And like I say, we're, we're just got a, we got a big challenge ahead of us. And of course, I think most of the people here, they're looking forward to it, and they're really excited about it. Come and join us. Uh, if you fight, try to fight this battle by yourself, you'll lose. There's too many of us. You can't burn us all out. Join us and be part of the solution as we come together to declare hope for our families and our future. Focus on the family in partnership with Operation Unite, a family strengthening event, tools, advice, and help with Dr. Bill Meyer. Take one day to stand up for families, neighbors, and our community. Together, we can declare hope.